Hey guys, Drastics here with a quick little video of a hot lap round Suzuka. I'm going to just talk you through what I do around this track and hopefully you spot something which might help you around here. So going over the line with DRS open as early as possible using the rest of your curves which you saved up beforehand. Now about to enter the very first corner, very fast right hander, enter it as fast as you can without running too wide and then clipping this second apex so you're not running too wide again on the exit of that corner. Now this is crucial, you want to keep left as far as you can so you get a really fast entry into that right hander which now creates a really nice flow into this S section here and you actually got a really lot of grip around this right hander and then you can get back into this left hander them two corners there that right and left hander you got a lot of grip so you can run wide through them corners and then here you just let the car roll through that right hander make sure you control the car at the bottom of the hill breaking in a straight line so you're not locking up and here you want to be again breaking in a straight line so you're not locking up so you can get a nice clean entry and exit out of this hairpin and then once you've got the traction out of the corner, you can start letting out a bit more curves up to the spoon corner now. It's basically uh, the same as the first corner, but back to front. You want to be entering as fast as you can without running too wide over the curb. And then clipping this second apex here, so you're not running wide again out of this second second part of the corner. And then using the remainder of your curves, what, you, what you've got left, or down this big long straight. And then here you can just go flat out through here, uh, no worries through that corner. And then here you want to be thinking about breaking as late as you possibly can with this tight little chicane here, tricky little chicane. On the exit of this corner you've got a little bit of wheel spin to sort of handle. But then once you've got the traction you can keep right as far as you can and then shortest way across the line and there you go. So hopefully talking through the lap it helped you out a bit and you might have spotted something which, which might improve your lap time. And if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe and help me out by liking the video if you enjoyed it or it helped you out. And on screen now you'll see a video and at the end of the video will be the setup which I use for this hot lap. So make sure you go and check that out in my other videos and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.